and what was uh, immediately clear to me, uh, having spent some time in Butte, was that for a place that was labeled the richest hill on earth, and for a state that was described as the treasure state, that uh, on, on field trips, as my students wondered aloud, and as I did too, uh, it wasn't clear where the treasure was uh, or where all those riches uh, had gone because Butte and Anaconda, its an adjacent city uh, where the smelter was located, uh, were run down, uh, dirty, uh, uh, anything but prosperous looking. Uh, and it, it wasn't just Butte that was in that condition. The original capital of Montana Territory was a ghost town, Bannock. Uh, the second capital, Virginia City, was a ghost town. Uh, Helena, which is the current capital, and almost, Butte almost became it, uh, Helena was a mining town. Its main street is called Last Chance Gulch. Uh, so, it, it was difficult to find the treasure, or any remnants of the treasure, uh, or difficult to find uh, uh, signs of the riches. And that, that raised, I mean, to me that was, a, that was an incredible puzzle. And uh, if I wasn't an academic, I would have just stuck with the word puzzle, but I, I used instead anomaly sounds uh, more, feel better and more, more academic. Uh, the anomaly of mining. I mean, here, incredible riches, no doubt, absolutely no doubt about it. Uh, 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 certainly treasure pulled out of, put up, pulled out of the mountains of western Montana. Uh, but very little signs of prosperity. And, you know, teaching a course on the, the Montana economy, that uh, that was a puzzle I had to uh, uh, figure out and spent a good deal of time not only studying uh, the Montana economy, but uh, other western states, uh, as well as Ozarks, Appalachia, uh, the Copper Towns in the Upper Peninsula, as well as in, in uh, Arizona and New Mexico, uh, gold mining cities in northern uh, Idaho and South Dakota, uh, etc. And the, the puzzle, anomaly, was just the high pay, no doubt about it, uh, one of the highest paid jobs, uh, blue collar jobs you can find. Uh, $75,000 a year, like the most recent I saw associated with the proposed pebble mine, is something close to $110,000 a year for the, for the miners. Uh, huge flows of revenues uh, into uh, uh, local and, and state government uh, coffers, uh, significant employment at, at its peak. Uh, the Anaconda operation employed close to 6,000 people. I mean, that for the, that was the part of the state population at the time that was that was that was massive. Uh, all of that, yet what what was visible was more like poverty, or at least uh, uh, dilapidated uh, towns and uh, local governments that were almost broke. Uh, so I had to, had to try to figure that out. And uh, three or four things jumped out at me after I dug into it for a while. Number one is something related to the boom-bust aspect that I, I mentioned this last night. Uh, it's not just that mines uh, can get played out. Uh, that certainly was true of surface mining, you know, where you're panning for gold in the, in the, in the stream. Uh, maybe it's true if you're following a vein of, of coal, but with, with copper, uh, the, the copper operation in Butte lasted for well over a century. It's still going on. So it, it's not that it went bust, uh, uh, but uh, something else was going on, and that was a, a constant fluctuation of what level of mining was profitable, what mines were profitable, what parts of what mines were profitable, as international copper prices fluctuated because of 
uh, uh, world demand and supply for copper. Uh, that led employment, uh, income, as well as, as the uh, uh, revenues going to local governments uh, to fluctuate. And that has significant impacts on communities and households and governments and the decisions that they make. Uh, a job paying $75,000 a year that's likely to last for 10 or 15 or 30 years uh, is one thing. A job paying $75,000 a year that you don't know if it will last through the next half year is something altogether different. You have to plan in a different way. You have to be, pre be prepared uh, uh, for sudden changes uh, uh, along the way. And that's true of the workers and their families. That's true of the businesses. Do you expand your grocery store or not? Uh, do you add, expand your bar or not? Same for local governments. Do you borrow money and expand the school or put in a new water system or sewage system? Uh, so that flicker and in copper prices and with it copper production and employment and payroll and payments to government uh, creates considerable uncertainty and discourages investment on parts of everyone involved. 